Hey guys, I'm Chris Trot, Trotty Golf, stood here with the Full Swing Kit Studio. I want to show you guys how you can practice and improve your game from the comfort of your own home. Let's check it out. Spyglass number three, what an iconic, beautiful hole this is with maybe one of the best views in golf. It's easy to get distracted here. So one of the great features of the kit studio is I can come over and I can hit in round practice. Now it's as if I've got a bucket of balls here. So we're gonna see the tracer. We're gonna get all the things we've had out of it before. But if you are doing this with your buddies, you can see on the left here, we've got a to target number in yards. We can also do a nearest the pin challenge. So I've got a six iron. First shot I wanna hit down here and I've got a bucket of balls. This is probably gonna be into win normally. I know today we've got none. I've got a total distance of 179. Just gonna hit a little cruisy six. Take a bit of height off of that one. See if I can keep it down there. We know we're going down the hill. Might be a little too much for me. Yeah, it is. So now you learn from that and you change and you play the seven iron. And with this in-round practice feature, you can constantly do that and adjust the way in which you're gonna play the hole. Select the seven iron. Let's see if we can hit the same golf shot. Tell you what, we'll mix it up a bit. Let's go little fade, seven iron, one, 79. Remember we're downhill. How great's that golf hole look? So it leaves the previous tracer on, and now you have a second tracer that then tells you how well you did on that golf shot. Bounces in. Luckily, I'm gonna get my to target number. That one to do me proud on a nearest the pin. I'm sure I might take that against the boys because this is not an easy golf hole. So let's have a look at how we did there on distance to target. 5.5. That's a good effort. To be honest, I'm probably going to end it there, albeit it is spyglass number three. So we'll just hit one more, see if we can really draw one in. But you can see how even I can get drawn away with just wanting to keep practicing, wanting to keep hitting different shots, seeing how many different ways I can play this golf hole. Surprised that one went so far. There really is some downhill in here. Let's see if we can get the eight iron there. So grab the eight iron if I want to hit the draw because I got a little bit too much yardage out of that one. See if we can tighten this up. Feel like I wanted that one. Draw in, draw in, keep drawing. Yeah, good. Anytime you hit it on the green on this hole, you're gonna be happy with it. But you can really see how I can get the in-round practice session going. I can work on that. Then you might think, okay, well, fair enough, but you've ruined what was a great round. That's not the case. You simply go back in, exit practice in our menu. Are you sure? Yes, it takes it back to then allowing me to hit one more golf shot. After those practice sessions, I know the eight iron is probably where I want to be. So we can get back on with our game. Nice eight iron, little draw. Oh, that was a hook. Sit. Bounce in. There's definitely a backstop there. We'll take it. Maybe that one did so well for me because I practiced and got the right club. Even with the pull or the draw, it allowed me to still hit the green in a place where I wanted to be.